in the greater Washington capital area. Saturday night, September 19, at the beautiful Capitol Center. Scheduled to compete on the professional wrestling extravaganza will be the tag team combination of King Kong Mosca and his partner, Sergeant Slaughter. Together, they are hopeful that they will become the next World Rusting Federation Tag Team Champions as they meet Tony Garea and Rick Martel. And then from there, the Intercontinental Heavyweight title matchup. The magnificent Morocco taking on the one man who originally won and brought to the World Rusting Federation the same Intercontinental Heavyweight title, making reference to Pat Patterson. Mr. Patterson would surely like to have the title back around his waist. Then from there, no holes barred, Texas death match, anything goes, no count outs, no disqualifications, no stopping the match for cuts or for any reason. We'll have a decisive victor in the Bob Backlund, George the Animal Steel confrontation. But right now, let's direct our attention to the Grand Wizard and to the magnificent Morocco as they prepare to lock up what Pat Patterson, the Grand Wizard. Clearly, you would note that Pat Patterson is considered as one of the all-time great competitors. He may be by you. He's not even considered by me as a third-rate announcer. And, of course, he has gotten a lot softer since he's been sitting next to you at that desk. Competition-wise, I am not the least bit worried. It's going to be a tough fight, but I have all the confidence in the world in the one, the only, the magnificent one. That is my analysis. Do you have an analysis of this upcoming matchup? You know, when they elect an idiot's Hall of Fame, Pat Patterson's name has got to be right up there among the top two. Not only, like the Wiz said, is he a man who's turned into the Pillsbury Doughboy. His body's as soft as a spank baby's behind, but his head and his whole mental intensity has become soft. Getting in the ring with a man, the brain, baby, the brain and the body and the intestinal fortitude to Pat Patterson, you're going to tie your legs up with your long, ugly, green, and white tongue. Comment by the magnificent Morocco and his manager, the Grand Wizard of Wrestling, comments that I doubt very seriously will fall on deaf ears. Our next guest, Freddie Blassie. Freddie Blassie, along with the man who just recently gave Bob Backlund a lot of trouble indeed. Well, now the return encounter has been signed, but this time it's a Texas death match, Freddie Blassie. You see, my grinders, from ear to ear, smiling. Why? Because this is our type of match. I requested this match. I asked for it, and they gave it to me. Can you imagine George Steele in a Texas death match? Anything goes, no stopping it for anything. You can have an arm, leg, and broke, neck broke, bleeding, I'm telling anything. And you can still continue. And I guarantee you, that's when George is at his best. And that is why I know this is the next world champion. Right here before you pencil neck geeks out there, take a good look at the next world champion, the most unpredictable wrestler in the world, the meanest. Take a look at him. George, champion George. George, will you tell him? George? George? A comment, Mr. Steele? George? Backlund! <laughs> Notice them teeth? Done! Mr. Blassie! Say 